Well, with hurricane season underway, attention turning to the tropics, and with it comes those social media posts, chitter chatter on social media, calling for maybe a monster hurricane weeks away. Right, we've seen it. Forecast models, they can have the tendency or the bias to do that. So if you're someone who likes following model runs, you have to look for patterns. You have to look for trends, look for consistency. Try not to live in a fairy tale because not all fairy tales have happy endings. Agreed. Meteorologist Michael <laughs> estimates here with a closer look at separating fact from fiction. Hey, Michael. Yeah, yeah I love that intro, Stephen Russo. <laughs> thank you. We called it fairy tale land in uh, weather school. Yeah. I, I think yeah. that that's very appropriate. Yeah. Very appropriate. And that's exactly it, guys. You may start hearing and seeing lots of social media posts and hype soon about a forecast for a powerful hurricane to really grow and mature and form in the Gulf of America and, of course, slam into Florida and the Gulf Coast by Wednesday, June the 18th, which is only 13 days away from today or about two weeks from now we want to get you ahead of this the reason why you're going to start to hear the hype is because our American global forecast systems model it's known as the GFS is painting a big hurricane in the Gulf by Wednesday June the 18th here though is what you need to know especially early in the hurricane season the GFS model is kind of like that friend or family member who makes a mountain out of a little molehill and over exaggerates. The GFS model is highly sensitive this time of the year, particularly in the Western Caribbean and then just off the coast of Venezuela and can quickly amplify and hype those potential storm systems, especially when there's a ton of moisture and spin in the atmosphere. GFS model also creates a feedback loop where it snowballs storms and leads to unrealistic overdevelopment, and that's what's happening here. And like myself, Stephen, Marissa, and all of the team of meteorologists here at Fox Weather, we ask ourselves these questions. Is this signal consistent over multiple days and multiple forecast runs? Well, we, again, are focusing on the day. This is Wednesday, June the 18th, around 7 p.m. Here's our different forecast models runs at 12Z, 6Z, and 0Z. And are we seeing consistency among those runs? The answer is simply no. And it's not just that, but are the multiple models showing it? Well, we look at the GFS model, we look at the what's called ECMWF or our Euro model, and no, when we compare the two, you can see that the Euro model is showing kind of a beautiful sort of day on Wednesday, June the 18th. Meanwhile, you look at the GFS model and it's showing that big old hurricane. So there's no model consistency. You then look at the trend line and typically, you know, we ask, are we within a seven day window where our forecasts are becoming more reliable, right? That's not the case either. So here's what Fox Weather Hurricane expert Brian Norcross had to say. The American GFS computer model wants to spin up things in the Caribbean or the Gulf, usually more than a week in the future. He says that we're dubious because number one, this is a known bias in the GFS this time of the year. And number two, none of the other models, including the latest AI models, show any significant signal for development. So we're ignoring the GFS at this point, even though a blind squirrel, he says, sometimes finds a nut once in a while. I like the analogy. So we're not saying that this couldn't happen, but here's the thing. The odds of this occurring are extremely low at this point. And, you know, Stephen Mercer, we say it all the time, but even a broken clock is right at least twice a day. So, again, we'll watch, we'll wait, we'll see what happens. But at this point, there is a lot of a sizzle, if you will, hmm. with this upcoming GFS run. <sighs> The stinking GFS. Yeah. You know, that is one of the biases it has. It um, we see it early in the season. GFS just seems to get uh, Real excited. hurricane happy. Yeah, when you get out beyond the medium range and you have to know that and understanding it and also understanding the inner workings of a model. Oh, I mean, it, it, and the the complexities that exist there. Mm -hmm. the, the atmosphere can't be controlled, can't yeah. be understood, but we try our best, right? We do. Good to know. Michael Estime, appreciate it. I'm trying to think of a good a analogy. Good analogy a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> That's a good one. Even a blind a squirrel yeah. finds it yeah. up twice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I like it. I'll find we'll another workshop. one for you in my next set. We'll workshop We've got a few more hours. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> yes, we do. All right, Michael, thank you. <laughs>